doing another video. We'll be doing a Pokemon Go video. It'll be how to hack Pokemon Go. It's pretty simple if you know what you're doing. So first, you need to go on Safari, or you can go on Google, and type in two two app. Oh. Or you can type in two two helper, and then it should come up as this. So if you're on iOS, you can click on iOS. If you want the VIP one, it's ten pound a year, so ten dollars a year. So I don't, I don't know any difference, but yeah. Or you can get the regular one, which is free. It's the exact same with Android. No, no, actually, Android you can't get the um, VIP one, but yeah. Anyway, so you download it. You click download now, the big green button. Then you click install, but because I've already got it, I'm going to cancel. So once you've installed it. You just have to wait a while to. Well, mine took a while, but my friends took like two seconds. So you have to click on it, and when you click on it, it'll say the app is not trusted or something. So you go along to settings, general, and then you go all the way down to device management. Then it's this one, I think, and then up at no, wait, it's not that one. It's this one. And then up at the top, it will say. Like it'll say something, and then you click up there where it says delete apps, and then you trust it. And then you go back onto the app and type up on the top hotbar. Well, actually, you'll come onto these like th these like things. So you click, you like go along to the right twice, then it'll say like sign up or something. So you just press that, and then you should just come onto this screen. So then at the top, type in Pokemon Go. Wait for it to load. So then, if I was you, I'd download the first one because the first one's probably the best. And this Chinese one down here is alright. But the first one's probably the best. It's yeah. So you yeah, just click in get install, then it'll start installing onto at the bottom manager and then it'll install here so then you know it's installed and then when it's installed actually install it onto your phone and it should just look like this one that's the real pokemon go up there second row and then the fake po well let's suppose the hacked pokemon go is here so we'll go on it you can like go around and like teleport and things Oh, wait, then my GPS is just. So, like, you walk around with by this joystick. You can also use these, like, buttons. And, yeah, you can also teleport. So, you walk around with this joystick down here. Or you can get this thing, which I'm not sure. I, I don't like that, but <laughs> most people do. So, you should try both. And then you can just hit poke stops, uh, attack gyms, and stuff. You can basically do whatever you want. And if you want to teleport, so you if you want to teleport, go to type in on Google or Safari, Pokey ZZ, click on the first one. Then it should come up like this. And then we'll find a Pokemon that we should teleport to. Um what about that Snorlax? So we'll teleport to that Snorlax. So you click on teleport, you click the you type in the coordinates, so two two point four eight four five three six four five three six then one one four one four one and then you move but you have to it takes quite a while. The, as soon as you move, whatever you do, do not spin a poke stop, otherwise you're just screwed because you get banned. Uh, a monkey spawned here, but it's not totally though. Normally, Pokemon don't spawn that quick, but yeah. And you can look through gyms, but don't attack gyms. And also, when you, uh, well, I'll tell you about how you capture Pokemon without being banned either. So if you just spin a Pokestop hit now, you would get banned. So apparently, it should be a Snorlax, but I don't <laughs> think oh, there is. So then. When you click on the Pokemon, do not go and capture it. Click home. So when you get home, so move home, 
and then you can just capture it as normal. This might take a while. Because if you don't click home, then you'll get banned. And you get banned for like two to four hours, I would say. Because it's supposed to be four hours, but most of the time I get banned. Um, it's not four hours, it's a lot less. So then you capture it. So I caught the Snorlax. And then I'm back here. The way to know if you're banned. So if you come over here to a poker stop, spin the poker stop. If nothing comes out, <laughs> then you're banned. Also, if you try and capture something, like, if I didn't have teleport home when I was capturing that Snorlax, the Snorlax would have disappeared no matter what. So that's how you know if you're banned. And that's really just how you hack Pokemon Go, really. Not too hard, just if you just watch it carefully, you'll f figure it out quite easily. So if you liked the video, leave a like. Comment down below if you want to see any more, like, things on my phone. And most importantly, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.